Are you a builder? Have you been told that you need a duct leakage test? Energy codes may have change in your area and you're being told that you're required to have a duct leakage test performed. At Scott Home Inspection, we can perform this test for you. Today I'd like to show you how this test is performed and give you some tips about how you can be prepared. So this test works in much the same way that a blower door test works where a blower door test is going to be set up in a door assembly to depressurize a house, this duct leakage equipment is used to depressurize the duct system. So by running this equipment, what we're looking for is leakage that's coming in or out of the duct system where it shouldn't be. Typically, this test is best performed at a rough-in state, where we have clear access to the air handler, the duct system, the return side, supply side. That way, if our tests show that there's problems in the system, you can address them then. It, the test can be performed at a post-construction stage, but how are you going to get to the ducts if there's problems? So the first thing that we want to do is appropriately seal the duct system. We'll do this by going through the supply and return side and taping off the registers and returns as needed. We use a special HVAC tape to appropriately seal the supplies and returns throughout the home. Next, we connect our fan assembly to the duct system. This is most often done at the furnace air handler, but sometimes we can set it up to a large return as well. So after we have everything set up, we're going to actually run the fan assembly. The fan is going to pull air through the duct system, and it's going to give us a calculation of how much air leakage is occurring through the ducts. With that information, we can then determine whether you've passed or failed. This is a pass-fail type inspection. Any area that's adopted the 2018 IECC energy codes will be required to achieve 4% or better total duct leakage results. This means that for every 100 square feet of livable space that we're testing, you can only have 4 CFM of leakage occurring at the ducts. So how can you prepare for your duct leakage test? Work with an installer who knows what these testing requirements will be. Make sure that they're aware at the beginning of the project that the test will be required at the end. Every joint and every seam of the ductwork ought to be appropriately sealed with mastic. This includes joints, boots, screws, lateral seams, anything that could potentially leak air ought to be sealed with mastic. If your project has in-floor supply vents, the boot must be sealed to the subfloor from the bottom and tin must be laid on the top and appropriately sealed to the subfloor from above. These sealing efforts ought to include everything around the air handler and the furnace assembly itself. If everything is installed appropriately and sealed well, you should have no problems passing this test. However, if you found yourself at the end of construction, with results that just simply were not meeting the requirement, there are methods and installations that can be done post-construction to seal up your ductwork. AeroSeal is a very common post-construction application of a product that is distributed through the ductwork to seal up excessive duct leakage. At Scott Home Inspection, we've been performing this test throughout Colorado for years. We'd be happy to help you with your next project.